Okay, I've often thought that Batman Beyond would have made a phenomenal live action film. I've seen some of the the, the test suits that they that they showed, and they were just amazing, just absolutely amazing. You know, it, it was a well done story, well done cartoon. I'm glad they worked it into the Justice League Unlimited. It also has, I think, it's on its second or third volume of, of uh, comics. Very well done series. Spider Man 2099 was, of course, a series that was done with Marvel's 2099 group. You had X-Men, Ravenger, Doom, also they also did Hulk. So you had a guy who was in the future who's not quite Peter Parker, but is a brilliant geneticist who actually genetically combined half his DNA with that of a spider to become the more modern age, well, modern age future tense of Spider-Man. So why don't I do these through <clears throat> a nine criteria system? Intelligence, findability, strength, speed, durability. Invulnerability, air duration, versatility, and X factor. Now, if it's if it's six to three, that means first one six. More often than not, you should get the victory. If it's five to four, it's a lot closer. So intelligence. Uh, Terry McGinnis, smart kid. When it came to high school, they didn't mention that as he got older, he became very close to where Batman was, versus a master geneticist. We're also looking at Batman Beyond, they said it was about 2014 or 2099. So we're looking at a 60 year difference when it comes to, to technology and all that. So Movie Intelligence Edge definitely is going to go with the, the Spider Man 2099. Fighting ability. Batman Beyond. This is a guy who was trained by Batman. And towards the end of almost, it's either in the comic or it's in the cartoon, he was actually able to defeat the, the suit that he wears with the utility belt. He's also able to defeat multiple members of, well, this is, this is before they called it Argus, lots of people who are working for, for Amanda Waller. So, tremendously skilled physical combatter. Strength. This is one of the most weird ones because the suit for Batman Beyond gives him the strength of 10 men. 10 men, Olympic level, you're looking at being about, you know, 500 to 600 pounds. 800 pounds stretching. You know, when it comes to the amount of force you can put out. 2099, he's a 10 tonner. He's a 10 to 15 ton individual, depending of on when you're reading the storylines. Now, if we start getting humans at Olympic level that are closer to 2,000 pounds, maybe the strength of 10 men is going to actually eclipse somebody who's doing, you know, 10 to 15 tons. Speed. This one I had to weigh the two different things. I got a guy who's in a suit that flies. Versus the guy who has enhanced agility. And I was like, well, if you look at someone who's flying, you know, can I really include flying and enhanced maneuverability versus someone who has enhanced agility? And I was like, you know, I'm going to lead towards the agility on this side. You've got speed, because one of the abilities that 2099 had is as he's running, he actually left kind of like a clone of himself, kind of like an energy clone. Um, Think of old school Looney Tunes, Wile E. Coyote, Roadrunner Brothers, the, the initial burst, and then you see the cloud that dissipates. He had kind of an effect somewhat like that. So you're, you're trying to track somebody who's leaving little wisps of themselves behind as they're moving. So it's an incredible amount of speed. Durability. Again, you're looking at 2099 actually has regenerative abilities. He actually has a healing factor. It's not to the point where he can recover from a, a, a lost limb, but he can recover from a tremendous amount of damage and vulnerability. Man, the suit that Batman Beyond is wielding can take a tremendous amount of damage. You know, he has got a fantastic suit. This is like if, if Iron Man were to make a thinner material, you know, that suit was able to take a beating from Superman, that'd still be okay. That is a tremendously powerful suit when it comes to defensive capabilities. Energy projection. So here we are at distance. Man, at distance, boom. This is Batman Beyond's raison d'etre. This is what he brings to the game. He has got so many different things that he's carrying on on his, on his, his personage. Lots of explosives, lots of things that just from a direct distance gives him a tremendous edge. Versatility. Batman Beyond. This is a suit built by Batman. And the person inside is getting information fed to them from Batman. You know, it, you know, his suit has got 
It can do electricity through it. It has the ability to also do frost. It actually can go invisible. He's got, you know, he also can contract things through all the different sorts of visual spectra and invisible spectra. That suit is a walking deuce that's Mahina. So we're entirely tied up coming into that X Factor. This was kind of a bizarre one. I sat back and I went, well, I've got a guy who, in Batman Beyond, who gets to the point where he is close to Batman. That means he's not Batman. Means he's close to Batman. Batman Beyond in his prime, Amanda Waller said he is close to Batman in his prime. That's tremendous. Spider-Man 2099, he actually hit a point where, I think it was after, after a battle with Atlantis, and he was given the ability to wield Mjolnir. So he could have been Thor. But instead he decided that the universe, that the world needed Spider-Man instead. And then ruled the world for a thousand years of peace and tranquility. Wow, so I've got somebody who is very close to where Batman was, versus a guy who apparently has enough skill sets and enough other things at his disposal to bring the world to a lasting peace for it for a thousand years. It's like, that's... that's incredible. That means he has enough additional personal abilities and charisma and things of that nature to pull off something like that, as well as to be deemed worthy to wield Mjolnir, which makes him like the third person in continuity. Unless, of course, you include Wonder Woman in continuity, then to be the fourth person in continuity to truly be able to wield Mjolnir and get the power of Thor. And I was like, hey, with that, I think it goes to Batman, to Spider-Man 2099. I mean, there's something else about him as a character that's going to allow him to get that little extra oomph. You know, because he's, he's someone who spent a lot of his life and has genetically modified himself to be you know, as perfect as he can as a human spider hybrid versus someone who, had he begun his Batman career younger, like if he had been like a Robin age, you know, Batman Beyond would easily take this fight. But he was someone who was picked up more towards the middle of high school. So he actually didn't get as many years of, of experience that he would need to be somebody who was, who was a, a non-metahuman to defeat somebody who is a metahuman. 